What's going on YouTube? Good morning everyone. It is 3.15 a.m. Eastern Time. Yep, yep. And I'm headed up here to get, of course, get my drinks and all. I can't get fuel here. I gotta go five miles down the road and get fuel, so. But I'm gonna go in here first to get drink. That way, when I get to the fuel stop, all I got to do is pump fuel. It don't matter if I'm all the way at the end of the road. It's all good because I'm doing getting fuel. That 389X right there, folks. Yes, sir. Yeah, I believe that was a 389X back up in there. It's dark. Looked like one, but had all the badging and markings as a X, but it could have been just a regular 389 with extra extra stuff put on it. All right. Get over this hump without getting my landing gear hung up, we'll be good. Almost defeated a purpose for going in here to save myself from having to go another truck stop because now I gotta go another one to get my Red Bull. Ah well. It's only 2 30 in the morning out here, so hopefully Continue on US 80. The pilot won't be full of Yahoo's and I can get in and out of there pretty easy too. So yep, yep, let's go, let's go. Alright, here we are to exit for the fuel. 3.9 miles. Yeah. I could have come down here and stayed, but the time I parked yesterday, there probably wouldn't have been no parking at this truck stop. Not only that, this truck stop is dangerous. People get their hoods ripped off at this truck stop. That's great. So, yeah. I prefer to stay at my safe haven. Yep, yep. Turn left on 49th Avenue, then oh, take the shut first up. left. It's early in the morning for you to be barking orders at me. That Peter bit over there, look at all the lights. Oh yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Now, get in here and get fuel. What is it? Come on, dude. What are you stopping in the middle of the curve for? Drive, you fucking pecker head. I can't stay behind him. He's like an old grandma driver. <laughs> yeah. Yes, folks, I just come in the exit, but I couldn't stay behind that cat. Like he couldn't find the gears. I don't know what he was having problems with, but I got to go. Yeah, we got a long miles to drive today. We got 588 miles to go to. Got to, to get on my couch and yeah, I got to go 
got time to be fucking around with a BS today. So let's go. Let's get out here and get this fuel pump and go. Well, you know, I feel like <coughs> that was a setup. The people inside the truck stop are laughing at you. Because I'd get one pump on the driver's side going, I'd go to the passenger side, start pumping fuel, then the driver's side stop. I'd get the driver's side going, run over the passenger side stop. I was running back and forth, back and forth for 20 fucking minutes just to keep the damn fuel pumping. I think them fools are inside laughing. Look at this dumbass. He keeps going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, look at me. Jesus Christ. That shit like that always happens when you're in a hurry. When you ain't in no hurry, you don't get two shits. Everything works fine. When you're in a hurry and trying to get in and get out, this shit goes to hell. But anyhow, in 500 feet, we're done now. Valley Road. Time to do some trucking up. Woo -woo. Look at the flat top. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2-0. Oh, well, we've seen that one on the way in. That's a good looking truck. He had the defenders and everything painted to match the truck. Uh-huh. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty, we are, folks. We're getting on the big road. Uh, it's a little early. I'm going fucking delirious. Alright, next stop, Atlanta. Let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah, today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there that's watching my video or happen to be working. I know I'm working. Yay! I work all the freaking holidays. I don't ever have one off. Why don't I get paid double time? Or at least time and a half. Shit, come on. No, bad chance of that happening. But anyhow, yep, yep. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. All right, folks, here we are. We're passing the scales. Of course, they're closed this Sunday morning. Yep, yep, and we got about two miles to the state line, and we'll be in Alabama. Yep, yep. That's right, that's right. All right, folks, here we are. 172 is the last mile marker in Mississippi. And right here's the sign for Alabama. Welcome to Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, yep. yep. Grand Alabama. Get the bumps as soon as we cross in. Uh, yep, yep. All right, folks. Now it's 215 miles across here. And we have about 265 miles and we be delivering. Let's go, let's go. 566 miles, I'll be sitting in my couch. Yeah, buddy, let's get this shit done. Well, I don't know what's going on up here, folks, but it seems to be we fix them come to a dead stop. Oh, Lord. This is not good. This is not good. I mean, I see traffic for miles and the 90% of it is all trucks. Man, oh man. What is going on? Nobody talking to anybody know what's going on. Trash. 
trailer losses tandem. What's the what's the twenty on that? So does anybody know what lane is open? What lane we need to be in? The problem yeah but like uh, a truck run down the guardrail oh snap he's missing his tandems all his wheels disappeared out from under his trailer. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Well, it wasn't too bad, though. <laughs> Only lost about five minutes, if that. I didn't even have time to finish my Red Bull. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad of a backup. See, folks, you can tell it was all professional in that traffic jam. Well, not one time did we ever come to a complete stop. And it didn't take long at all to get through it. Because everybody worked with each other instead of just cutting each other off and blocking each other and this, that, and the other. So not one time did I come to a complete stop. Yeah, I was going slow, but I never come to a complete stop. <coughs> so, yeah. Anywho. All right. Well, we're about 30 miles outside of Tuscaloosa, folks. About 30 miles out of Tuscaloosa. So let's go. Let's go. Boy, look at all the lights on this truck. Yeah, that's what we call cluck cluck chicken truck. That's right. It's a chicken truck. He might not be hauling chicken, but anyhow. That's a chicken truck. All the lights and everything. Yep, yep. Hey folks, here we are coming into Tuscaloosa. Yep, yep. This is Tuscaloosa. Ain't much to see here from the highway, but yeah, a few lights, but other than that, not much of nothing. Uh, and we're about, say, 150 miles, 140 miles from the state line. 140 miles will be in Georgia, 200 miles we'll be delivering. So, yep, yep, let's go, let's go. Yeah. All right, folks, I'll get back to y'all a little bit. We're about 30 miles from 459, 30 miles from 459. Yeah, folks, you know, I've spent a whole month out this time, and not one time have I stopped here to QT and got my favorite chips that they have there. And it's Father's Day, so I think I'm going to treat myself this morning and stop and get my chips. That's right up here, the QT exit 77. And I'll show y'all what I'm talking about when I get there. So let's go. All right, folks. We had the exit for the QT. That's right. And this is the place that's got my favorite chips, and I will get me a bag while I'm in here. Maybe get two bags. Because I don't get them that often, so I might go ahead and get two bags. 
Anyhow, this place ain't been here long. It's maybe a seven, eight months. Turn left on Buttermilk Road, then take the first right. But, yep. Yeah. Mm, get in here and get parked. Then yeah, I'll get back with y'all folks in a minute. Look at the lights on this one purple Freightliner. Hell yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at the FLD, folks, with the purple lights. Oh, there's the Peterbilt that's always here. Here, folks. These is what I'm talking about. You can't get them nowhere else but here at the QT. And it ain't just this QT. There's a couple other ones that carry them too, but it's mainly like, I don't know. Because I've been out west and been to a QT and they didn't have them. It's like the, the mid, the mid states, you know, like Alabama, Mississippi, they carry them. I don't know whether it's just where Tom's is located or what, but they're not all over the place. So, here we are, coming up on 459. That's right, we're coming up on 459. Uh, once we get on 459, it's like 30 miles. We'll be right back on 920. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I guess I ought to slow down a little bit. There's a curve up here. Take the exit to I-459 North. Take the exit to I-459 North. Six Flags. <laughs> the Six Flags over Georgia is right there at 285 and I-20. That's Atlanta if you ask me. But yeah, the outskirts of Atlanta. But anywho, that's where we headed. So oh, yep, yep. Let's go, let's go. Here we are, getting ready to get back on I-20. Yep, yep, getting ready to get back on I-20. Take exit 29 on the right to I-20 East, then keep right. Yep, and getting daylight. I was hoping to be closer than what I am right now, but it is what it is. I mean, I only took 10 hour and 23 minute break last night, so yeah, I took the bare minimum as far as the break. But yeah. And now, Back on 20, and we are 122 miles from our exit. 122 from our exit. Oh, yep, 
subscribers this area right here this is what I call a dragonfly zone but uh, you'll see here in a minute I'll be dragging up the hill the lamb loaded pretty he uh, kind of heavy so yeah it's gonna slow me down a good bit on the hills and then I'll fly down the other side so uh, there we go with the dragonfly drag up fly down drag up fly down for the next I'd say at least 70 miles that's what it's going to be pretty much all the way till we get into Georgia it's going to be up and down drag and fly yep yep so let's go Yeah, 
buddy. We're almost done. Almost done working. Then I got that long drive home. Uh, uh, humbug. Tried to patch it, but it's still there. Now I climb this hill. Oh yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Come on, come on, you can make it. Yep. Up, 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 up. <laughs> That's a hell of a pull right there from a dead stop. Dead stop. Anywho. Yeah, right up, right up the road here. We got that hard right turn. In one half mile, turn and right on White Road. Whole pile of people behind me, so I got to swing wide. Hopefully, they don't try to come up the right side. But I got to do it from the center lane. Turn right on White Road. All right. Yeah, there was a car back there trying to come up beside me, but one half mile, once she realized I was turning, she hit the brakes pretty quick. All right. So now. Yeah, we almost done. Normally you can see the skyline from right up here. And you can somewhat see it over there in the fog, but not really. In one quarter mile, arrive at Costa. Yeah, look Bobby over there Land. now. Let's see. Anybody behind me? No. Anybody behind me? Let's see if I can get a picture of that. Uh, it's too foggy. I ain't get a picture of it. Too foggy. And there's a truck come up behind me. Anywho. Right down here at the bottom of the hill. This is where we're gonna be dropping this load. Yep, yep. And here we go. Alright. 
made a vote. Another load successfully delivered. Please drive to high yep, yep. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, alright. Here we go. Dropping my last load for a week. Hopefully, yep. I won't be back out until probably the 20th. Today is the 16th, so yeah, four days anyways. Yep, yep. I'm gonna put it right here. Pull up over in here. Turn left. So I can back right up in that hole. <coughs> Perfect. And then back straight up. Yep. ride the yard he wants me to bring a trailer home with me but he says he thinks it's already been taken out of here so I'm gonna ride around here and look and see Turn left. make sure it's not on the yard before I take off the gate come back in because the the one he originally wanted me to get it's not here so I went out the gate and he sent me another one and I pull in and that one's on a door Turn so now I'm bobtailing home that's even better 
I like that better anyways. So yep, yep, let's go. Alright folks, here we go, here we go. We're getting ready to get on the big road. Yep, yep. Getting on the big road. And it being, you know, 840 Sunday morning. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Y'all know it is Atlanta, but I'm hoping. Ooh boy, here we go, here we go. Whoop whoop, drug it up. Let's go, let's go. So far so good. Normally this time in the morning it'd be backed up to right here. So yeah, we look good so far. <laughs> Take exit 51A. Well, right. the bees come back. Yep, yep, the bees are back. Let's go, let's go. Got to catch this 285 South. And smash this motor. Yep, yep, 300 miles now, folks. 300 miles. Now, well, not quite, because my GPS tends to take me in a different way than what I'm actually going. So I don't think it's quite 300 miles. It might be like 297 or something like that. But anywho, still the same amount of time pretty much. Get on over, you fool. Man. That's a good looking horse there. Yep, yep. Alright, folks. Two miles and we'll be on 285 South. Good. Let's go, let's go. Alright, folks. Look at this. Look at this. Jeez. Sheesh, this don't ever happen. Get on 285 without hitting the brakes. Are you serious? At 8.50 in the morning? Yeah, buddy. What a deal. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Storm rising with Pierre Dubois last work. Alright, folks, alright, here we are going underneath the uh, Atlanta International Airport runways. Yep, yep. That was one. Here's another one. That's right. And here we are getting ready to get on 75 South. There goes the plane taking off. Then take the exit yep, yep. to I 75 South. That's nothing new around here. they taking off every minute here. Remember, uh, a week ago I was here and sitting right down the road and Watch the plane take off every minute. There was a plane taking off. But anywho, here we go. We're on 75 South and mash your motor all the way to the house. Yep, yep, let's go. All right, all right, all right, folks. I made it out of Atlanta with no hiccups. That's unbelievable. God, I didn't ever think that would happen, but it happened. Now, down here at the 205. This is uh, Jackson, Georgia, down here. Yep, yep. 
So yeah, I got about 240 miles to go. Yep, yep. Let's go, let's go. Folks, we're now on 475. That's right, 475. We have about 12 miles and we'll be back on to 75. Alright, alright folks, here we are, getting back on the 75, yep, yep, oh, and we have 200 miles to go. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I know I'm tired. I just drank another Red Bull. But anywho, we gonna get it done today. We uh, we will get her done. facing at them or what have you and now I'm noticing a lot more of them using the view that I use. I wonder why. They all got more subscribers than I do. <laughs> yeah, it ain't that I'm 
doing nothing special. I just got my mount here on the dash and figured that's the way I would do it. That's the easiest way, you know, that way I can reach and hit the mute button or the pause button and all that and it don't affect my driving none. Yeah, I know uh, the, the sun's on the dash. I normally hold the phone and put it on my other mount when I'm not recording, but, you know, but anyhow, it is what it is. It's all good. Evidently. I'm doing something right if other people want to copy my, no, I wouldn't say copy my YouTube, but anyhow, anyways, anywho, any ever who, all the above, it's all good, yep, yep, we got a hundred and seventy two miles to the exit. Boat 172 to my exit. So let's go, let's go. All right, folks, all right, all right. We're about 110 miles away. Yep, yep, that's right, that's right. About 110. Uh, I just looked at Google Maps. It says there's a wreck down here at the 22. That was reported 41 minutes ago. Maybe by the time I get down there, that's 40 miles away. I'm hoping by the time I run these 40 miles, they should have that all cleaned up. But it did show four different speed traps between here and there, too. So the police, of course, is working pretty hard. But they always do from Tifton here all the way down. they always working hard. So that's no surprise to me. But, yep, yep, we're getting there, folks, we are getting there. ETA is still about the same time that it was when I left out this morning. So I've not lost no time nowhere yet. But let's go, let's go. Well, here's where it said there was a wreck at on Google Maps. And uh, as y'all see, we're still moving right along pretty good. No wrecks. Nope, nope. So we're good. Yep, yep. Got to stop down here at the, uh, I think it's the two, the last exit in Georgia. I'll stop there and refill my drink. Because what I got is from 3 o'clock this morning. It is now noon. So yeah, the drink is pretty good. All right, all right, folks, we're down to the 12 yard stick. That's right, the 12. We're almost there. Ooh wee, look at here, look at here. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, and a flat top 389X. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, buddy, been pretty sweet. Now look at old W9. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, folks. You know, my dumb ass done let my clock run over. I'm headed home. Out of all the times to let the clock run over is when I'm headed home. But it don't matter. I just forgot to put it on PC. That's all right. But it is what it is. Now I'll PC the rest. I just went over on the 8. I ain't went over on my 11. I went over on the 8. That's okay. Be all right. Now we're going to go down here and That's get on the big road take and the first exit to I take down this flat top peak that I just seen. Yeah, buddy. Oh, y'all know how I feel about the Peterbilt's. I love the looks of the truck. I love the, but I'm too big. I'm six foot tall, 
280 pounds. I'm too big to be living in a Peterbilt. I can't get my fat ass between the seats without turning sideways. Well, everybody knows it drives a Peterbilt. Y'all know the cab is narrow. So to get in between into the bunk, I had to turn my ass sideways to get into the bunk. So, no. Not only that, just ain't enough. I mean, yeah, they've made the bunks bigger nowadays, but they still just ain't big enough. So, yeah. If that wasn't the case, I'd be driving a Peterbilt right now because we have a couple on our fleet. Or 579, but still, or Peterbilt. I mean, uh, but, yeah. And not only that, they don't have nowhere near the turning radius this Kenworth's got. Nope, nope, sure don't. And hold up. These fools are messing with me right now. Oh, why does everybody want to cut me off? Guess what, folks? Yep, yep. We almost here. Right there's the sign. It says, Welcome to Florida. We're in Florida. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting, you know what? I can go to this lane now. I'm out of Georgia. <laughs> uh huh. And uh, yeah. First thing you see is a bunch of palm trees when you come into Florida. So they got palm trees. Plant, them are planted palms. They ain't natural ponds. Yeah. But they're still palm trees, nevertheless. But anywho, we're getting there, folks. We are getting there. I should be home right on. Yeah, I don't know. Right on time. On time to go get something for dinner. Because <laughs> I ain't worried about cooking by the time I get there. The hell with cooking. But anywho, yep, yep, let's go. Oh, look at the miles per gallon I'm getting right now. 10.1 miles to the gallon. Hell yeah. Check it out, yes sir, yes sir. And of course, in the back glass it says going broke. I could imagine with all that it going broke because uh, all that extra chromey shit. Yeah, uh huh. It ain't going broke. If he's riding around with a half empty trailer, he ain't going broke. But anyhow, that's a good name to put on a, a Peterbilt. Yep, yep. He got his motorcycle with him. Alright folks, that's going to be the end of this video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching TTVE. And it's probably going to be a couple days before I get another one out. So, I'll get back with you folks when I get back on the road. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and uh, share too if you could. Thanks for watching.